What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I've wanted to start a full series start to end building something massive forever. This was the first house I built when the game came out. I think it's time that we part our ways. Let me know if you guys like the idea of this. I'm sure you'll let me know if you don't. And before you crucify me in the comments, I'm aware if you watch Bastio, he made a similar video. This isn't one of my typical mock-up videos, this is just the beginning of a series. Well look at that. Without even trying, is this the new way to make a floating base? Oh come on, Ed Knight, I'm trying to start a building series, not a glitch video. Now I'm being summoned to the netherworld. After looking around for a while, this is the spot I picked to build. It's got a big flat area, a pond with fish and water, and it's also very close to the beach, and with the amount of boat motors I've been seeing this patch, I'm starting to think that they may add boats. This is the location on the map if you'd like to build here as well. We do need to improve the view a bit. So time for some Slap Chop landscaping. If you don't know what Slap Chop is, it's one of the best console commands for clearing areas very quickly. Well, the view's starting to look better. I'm definitely going to remove more down the road, but let's get to building this. At first, it's going to look like, like a really big rectangle. But to save myself headaches, I do have somewhat of a plan. We're going to add tails off the end of each corner, and that's how we're going to make the circle later. Now keeping in mind of the plan, where I'm pointing right now, where this log went down, that's going to be the center of the circle. I'm not trying to plug my other video, but if you saw the wide open structure video, I'm planning on the first floor to be very long, at least two stories high, to the ceiling, with no columns. To do this, we have to stay in the range that struts can handle, in one direction. The max is six columns, and four can be removed with struts. So, when building the circles, the center is going to be on the corners, which means the walls of the circle will be one grid in each, if that makes any sense. Uh, keeping this in mind, the max I can go is eight, which I'm going to do. And this will all make sense later. It, it's hard to explain right now. All right, so another video I made explained the circle technique in depth on exact steps on how to do it. But here's quickly an overview. Now the more logs you air quote stack inside of each other, the more angles you get. In this case, I'm going to do eight, which means you get eight snap points per quarter, or 32 overall in the entire circle. It seems like a sweet spot. You could do much more, which will have a way more insane appearance, but you need the patience of a god. And any less than six, uh, I think it looks bad. Now that we're done with the last circle, um, we can remove all these contraptions that we needed to make them. And going back to patience, I'm not going to bother cleaning all that up, I'm just going to save and exit out and load back in because all the logs will despawn. This is probably the most important part of this video, and I messed this up the first time. This isn't fake, or for YouTube humor, I actually got this far and had to start completely over uh, because I didn't do this step correct. And let's just say I wasn't too happy. The first two logs that we place on the circles must be perfectly square or on a 90 degree angle from our original grid. When I say perfect, I mean absolutely perfect. If they're off uh, by the slightest bit, by the time it gets to the next circle, it won't even be close to lining up. And when we go to add on to this later, 
all of the grids will be off and your build is basically dead in the water. So definitely take your time here, it's very important. Sometimes the game will line it up for you like this. It's not very common. And I'll just double check and it's perfect. That's not an edit, that was the first time. <laughs> So on this one, it's not going to do it for us like it did on the last one. That's what I was trying to say. And the first time, a second time? Two times in a row? What a god. So all of our circles are ready to be built at this point. I mentioned earlier that I use eight stack logs, <clears throat> so I need to figure out the best spacing for them uh, to be symmetrical. Make sure if you're removing the logs to get better spacing that you do not remove the first two we put down. I'm gonna place down the first quarter of each circle because that should be the last taxing thing on our patients in this video. Uh, the other three quarters of the circles are really easy. Now that the first quarter of your circles are done, the rest of it will snap to what you already started. There's no thought to it, you can spam. Now I want to mention because of this, if one log looks like garbage on the first quarter, it'll look like garbage on all four sides. Just something to keep in mind. I want to turn all of these wind circles into full stone circles. So we'll start off by placing one rock at each point. I've seen other people doing this reinventing the wheel, <laughs> no pun intended. It's actually really simple. It's time consuming, but simple. This was fun to figure out. If a log is placed flat within a full log distance away from where we're trying to place the stones, it won't allow you, so these need to go. It's going to seem like we're going backwards, but I mean it is building in Sons of the Forest. We're going to remove all the wood, including all the ones stacked inside of each other in the center. Now we'll place one stone down on each point on the inside. and connect them all together with stone, which will point back to the center. I started with one on each point on the inside because it gets rid of the god-awful pause when placing stone. One down, three to go. Yay! Don't worry, I'll speed it up and skip most of the other ones for you guys. I'm going to build the foundation for the first outside wall by placing down a stone beam. And I'll double check to make sure it's straight, but because the very important step we did before, 
It's guaranteed. I'm only checking to see if I need to throw my PC out the window. The first two circles line up perfectly, and so should the rest. Let me know what you guys think about the more drawn out series like this instead of only simple mock-ups. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, subscribe, all that other good stuff. Until the next one, I'll see you.